Hello, welcome to this video. It's Leonard here from DetailLearner.com and in today's video presentation, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to invest in cryptocurrency in Nigeria. Now, I'm going to use Nigeria as a case study, but this can apply to anywhere you find yourself. If you are seeing this video presentation from Bangladesh, if you are seeing this from Ghana, if you are seeing this from any part of Africa or any part of the world you find yourself, you can still apply the same investment strategies and still get the same result but majorly just have it at the back of your mind that we are using nigeria as a case study in this video so if you are seeing this video on the youtube and you are new to the channel consider subscribing if you like more videos you know to get more videos about crypto trading and investing then subscribe hit the notification bell to be notified each time videos like this are published on the channel so with that being said um to jump straight into this presentation first i want to let you know here that if you want to get involved in the cryptocurrency space you must have um, a specific goal in mind what is your goal how do you want to start investing is your goal the short term um to to get you know into crypto short term by getting you know when i mean short term you want to be getting results on a daily basis on a weekly basis on a monthly basis or you want to go long term long term is you look at anything from five years and, and above that is basically what you should be looking at so first you must have this at the back of your mind do you want to go short term or you want to go long term so whatever means you want to go all depends on you and here i want to mention that if your goal is to get your returns in the short term means then you need to consider trading crypto trading crypto you can trade crypto and be getting your result on a daily basis but if you want to go long term that is when buying and holding comes in play okay so basically if your returns are to be getting in if your goal is to get your returns on a daily basis monthly weekly then all you need to consider is trading and you need to learn how to do that actually to be able to trade you can um there are different types of trading you can go you know um trading spot you can trade features you can trade um p2p and a lot more i'll go into details as we proceed then if you want to buy and hold on the long term without giving yourself the headache of analyzing chart doing technical analysis then you must be buying and holding and equally i'll be showing you here how to buy not just holding them in your wallet but how to actually stake your holdings and make profit from it so basically this is what I, I want you to have in mind and then let's say you want to go short term then you should consider trading and you want to go long term buying and holding will be these are the two major means of you getting involved in the crypto space and all of them all have their benefits and they equally have their risk actually when it comes to trading there is a um, the passive means of it to read and then there is an active means of making profit from that passively is that you'll be trading with bots you don't need to be there 24 7 to be monitoring your trade or monitoring your chart to be able to make money so automatically bots can be doing this for you and then if you want to get involved actively by analyzing the chart and trading on a daily basis then that is when active income um, comes in play meaning that you are taking trading as your daily job as your full-time job um, you can analyze the chart whenever you feel, whenever time or strategies you set up for your trading. You go ahead, sit on the computer, look at the chart, and then carry out the trade and get the profit before you exit. But passively, you can be using robots to do that. And there are a few things I want you to consider before going into crypto, and that is the risks involved in the crypto space. And the major risks I want to point out in this presentation is what I call platform risks. Platform risks is what I want you to take note of. And what do I mean by platform risks? A lot of persons have been scammed and because of that, they no longer trust anything that has to do with crypto. Even when crypto is something that can actually make them a lot in the future. But because they have invested wrongly through platform that promises them 10%, 100% return on a monthly basis. And then they get involved with such platform. Um, gave their money to the platform either the platform has promised that they are going to trade for them they are going to mine for them they are going to invest their money in this or that and then give them return on a daily or monthly basis and at the end of the day after investing and trusting this platform to some extent and giving in their all such platform has disappeared 
to thin air nobody knows where they are and they have disappeared with people's money people's hard earned money a lot of persons has lost millions of naira millions of dollars to such platform the platform could come in the name of an a crypto trading exchange they will come they come with a lot of things you know with fake registration certificate and here in nigeria in fact nigeria is the headquarters of ponzi scheme because we are good at promoting such platform and because of that you get involved because you want to make money you want to be elevated from you know um from poverty and the, the rest you just get involved blindly and before you know it this platform disappears with your money well this is not what i'm going to show you i'm not going to introduce any platform where you can invest your money and get 20 percent return so as i said earlier is that you get involved yourself trading or you just buy and hold some of these cryptocurrencies and in the future when it appreciates you get your reward and if you want to exit it is left to you so basically be careful of any platform where you have to deposit your money into that platform and then they promises you that they are trading with your money or they are mining with your money and at the end of the day they give you return be careful with such platform you will lose your money and don't say i didn't warn you so why should you invest in cryptocurrency well since after the invention uh, in 2009 when crypto um starting from bitcoin came into existence a lot of other cryptocurrencies have been you know be coming up we have ethereum we have um finance coin we have a lot of them there are over sixteen thousand plus cryptocurrency right now in circulation but in all of this the good thing is that Investing in cryptocurrency will pay you than doing investment with your local currency. For instance, those of you who are good at um, doing fixed deposit, um, you know, with the banks, doing all sort of investment with the banks, at the end of the day, the return you get from these banks in 10, 20 years, cryptocurrency can give you such return in just few, in a very short term, actually. In a very short term, cryptocurrency can give you such return. And to show you what is possible, let me share my other screen with you. All right, so here we are. This is actually um, um, some of the um, calculation I did starting from 2017. You know, cryptocurrency started getting gaining more awareness, you know, started getting more notice sometime in 2017. Though it started earlier than this, but in 2017 was the high of it all. And I have made this calculation right from 2017 when a lot of persons actually came to know about cryptocurrency. And um, starting from 2017, if you have invested $1,000, $1,000 as of 2017 in Nigeria will be around 300, 400,000 Naira. So if you have invested Bitcoin and uh, we invested in Bitcoin, BTC, in 2017 when the price was around um, 2,700, you would have gotten 0 0.37 BTC. And that in 2021 alone, uh, when the price was um, at 42, the value of your Bitcoin would have been $15,000. And that is 8 million Naira in the Nigerian currency. So if I change, I use 42. If I change this to when BTC was 60,000, for instance, if I change it to when it was $60,000, that means that your 1,000 invested in 2017 after five to six years would have given you about um twenty two thousand dollars which is about 12 million naira what if you have invested in ethereum sometime in 2017 ethereum was around 200 300 dollars if you have invested in 2017 in ethereum you would have gotten about 3.4 ethereum and fast forward to 2021 when bit the ethereum one ethereum was actually at four thousand plus but let me go ahead and use four thousand to make the calculation four thousand plus your 4,000 worth of crypto um, invested or your 1,000 um, worth of Ethereum that you invested in 2017 would have been giving you $13,000 as at 2021. Um, and that will amount to a million, 7 million plus. What if you have invested in BNB? BNB is a Binance native token. And sometime in 2017, this coin was around two, three dollars or thereabout. So if you have invested sometime in 2017, and you've invested a thousand dollars, let's say three hundred to four hundred thousand dollars, and then you hold those coin up to when it gets to five hundred, 
yes at the point it was 600 plus getting to 700 but i'm just using 500 to calculate this when it was 500 dollars meaning that your 1000 invested in bnb would have given you about 223000 dollars that is about 122 million naira um at 500 dollars and what is the price currently in the market this is bitcoin bitcoin is around 41 ethereum is around 3000 and then bnb is around 476 dollars now the calculations that I've made here is based on those who look at this business as a long-term, you know, those long-term investors who come into this business saying, okay, I just want to buy and hold this token. So meaning that your one thousand dollars you would have been buying it and you would have bought this and hold. And if you have bought and hold this, you would have been getting this result as at today, as at the time of recording this video. This is the result you would have been getting. And believe me, a lot of person invested more than $1,000 in 2017 in some Ponzi scheme that actually made them lose their money. Some persons invested $100,000, hundred, you know, hundreds of dollars into this platform. So can you spare $1,000? Can you spare $2,000? Can you spare any amount of money and buy some of this token? You may not buy BNB now, you may not buy Ethereum now, you may not buy BTC now. Does it mean that there are no other coins you can buy? There are a lot of them out there that you can buy and get a lot of profit from it all right so i i just wanted to share what is possible with you and another reason why you should invest in cryptocurrency is because the naira is being devalued on a daily basis now sometime in 1981 one dollar was equal to 53 kubo in Nigeria here, a dollar was, that is in 1981, a dollar was equal to 53 Kobo. And then, meaning that then, 1 million Naira was worth more than 1.5 million dollars. If you have 1 million Naira, it means that you'll be, if you want to exchange that to dollar, you'll be having more than 1.5 million dollars. Fast forward to 10 years later, that is in 1991, 1 million naira became a hundred and two thousand dollars from 1.5 million it came down to about a hundred and two thousand dollars which is about 1500 percent lower in value for the naira it didn't stop there going forward 20 years later in 2001 1 million naira was worth eight thousand eight hundred dollars that is another 1000 percent devaluation for the naira so if you have invested 1 million naira in your bank sometime in 2001 today the money will be more it, 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 let's say even with all the profit you are going to get the money will be nothing because there is nothing what 1 million naira would have done for you in 2001 it won't do it today it won't do it today it didn't even stop here. Going forward, in 2011, 1 million naira became the equivalent of $6,300. $6,300. And then in 2021, 1 million naira is the equivalent of $2,500. So the truth is that the naira is being devalued on a daily basis. And I want to ask, just use the comment section to let me know what is your biggest guess now what is your biggest guess what will a million naira be worth in the next 10 years to come will it go back to 1.5 million dollars or it will go back to a thousand dollars or even 500 dollars just use the comment section below and let me know what you think so why i'm actually saying this is because if you are opening a fixed deposit, if you are leaving your money in the bank, 10 years to come, that money will be nothing. If you have 10 million naira today in the bank, in 10 years to come, your 10 million naira will be worth a million naira. But if you put that into cryptocurrency, it will be worth a lot more. If you put that into cryptocurrency, it will be worth a lot more. And you know the reason for that? It is because every cryptocurrency you see here in the coin market cap, has a limited number of supply a limited number of supply and with the current introduction of burning some tokens and the rest and the burning aspect of it 
know gradually if you subscribe to my channel you'll learn more about some of these things actually creates scarcity of this particular token meaning that if for instance 21 million bitcoins are being circulated and all of these 21 million has been mined and they are all in circulation the more um, awareness the more people get to know this the more adoption this cryptocurrency get the more the demand for it keep increasing so when the demand increases the more the price keep hiking up so the more popularities that cryptocurrency gains the more they keep appreciating in value in price and so on so investing in crypto today instead of your money depreciating like the naira it will be appreciating and you will get a much more return in few years to come than it will give you when you just carry this money and put in your bank or invest in other things so yes cryptocurrency is a good thing and there is need for you to get involved and as i said earlier to be aware of platform that will run away with your money is either you buy and hold this cryptocurrency in your wallet or you go ahead and learn how to trade it and there are exchanges that i've listed i will leave that in the video description which you can go and sign up with and some of those exchanges number one is bybit and when it comes to trading i recommend bybit most especially when you are trading features i recommend bybit for any trader out there and the reason for recommending bybit is because of the low fees that they charges another exchange that you need to sign up a must have exchange is binance binance is one of the most popular exchanges when it comes to cryptocurrency around the world and you must have a binance account and that is because here in nigeria with binance you can easily buy exchange your local currency to um you know the cryptocurrency and use them to trade i have a step-by-step -step video i will probably leave that in the video description below where you can go ahead and learn how to do you know p2p to exchange your currencies to your, your local currencies to your cryptocurrency another exchange that i would recommend here is OKS dot com so if you come in here to okay this is the next exchange that i recommend um when it comes to trading whether you want to trade p2p or you want to trade um you know officials you want to trade spot all of that can be done with some of these exchanges that i've listed at i'll leave a link to all of the exchanges that you need to sign up with an account with and then get started with that you need an account with any of this exchange and the beautiful thing with it is that as a new user when you sign up with any of this exchange you get a lot of bonuses for you if you sign up with bybit a lot of bonuses are with you if you sign up um, with binance a lot of um, bonuses are with you and if you sign up with oks a lot of bonuses equally are with you now coming back to the short term and the long term investment now if you want to buy crypto um and hold there is equally what is called earning. There's N, N tab in each of these exchanges. If I come in here to the OKS, the N tab can be accessed via the finance. You see N here. If you go to it, you will see um, that you can actually buy some of these tokens and stake them on this platform and be making profit from it on a daily basis. So you can see the API, the returns that will give you in each of these tokens that are listed here. You see the percentage you get, um, which is far, far better than just dumping your money in the bank. That you can equally find on the Binance here. You see the end tab, you see the different means. You can come in here to saving, you can come in here to um, staking and the rest. If you come to buy bid, you can equally get that on the, um, the buy the buy fee here. So if I come here to buy fire here, you see flexible staking, you see dual asset mining, you know, DeFi mining, they are launch pool, all of these are various means that you can actually start staking your asset. They warn you are holding and be making profit from it. And the biggest of it or where I can advise you to actually stake your token is Nexo. So Nexo.io is another platform where you can actually come in here and stake your tokens. And you can see here you can earn up to you know 70%, 17%, up to 20% in most cases. Of any of your crypto so you can just come into next I will leave links to all of this in the video description where you can come in here and find that yourself um, what this platform simply means or what I use it for for instance if I have Bitcoin let's say I have two Bitcoin and then I want to start trading I want to go into trading and I don't want to trade my Bitcoin to USDT and at the end of the day I will not be looking for buy to have to buy Bitcoin if my aim is to hold Bitcoin for long term I can just come in here to stake my two Bitcoin and then use that two Bitcoin as collateral on Nexo to borrow money from Bit uh, from Nexo and then go trade with it. Why the one you are staking is any you 
percentage on a daily basis your the borrowing you are doing you can use that to be you know trading and be getting returns from it and whenever you pay back the money you borrowed you can still get back your two bitcoin and then the interest that is on it as well same thing happens if you are using binance you can equally lend your crypto to them and then borrow from them as well so you can lend your bitcoin to borrow usdt and then you go use the usdt to start trading and so on so basically what you do is whenever you buy your crypto here if you buy bitcoin buy ethereum buy bnb any of these crypto asset that you buy you come to platform like nezo or you can use the exchange to do all of these things you can actually use the exchange to do all of these things so i have all these uh, that i'm mentioning some of these i'm mentioning i have step by step video guys that helps to do that now another thing people will be considering is bitcoin is already high ethereum is already high and i don't have this amount of money to buy even if you have this amount of money to buy i don't advise that you buy once there is what is called auto invest with the binance um platform that i made a video on recently so you can equally go and see that video and see how you can be investing on the daily basis so with that auto invest feature you can decide to automatically be investing into a particular asset this is called dollar cost averaging dollar or dca what it simply means is that what it allows you to do instead of having a hundred thousand dollars and you want to invest it once because if i invest a hundred thousand a hundred thousand dollars once and i buy for instance btc today at forty one thousand there's every tendency that tomorrow btc will drop to thirty thousand it will drop to twenty thousand or whatever so in this case instead of just buying at 41 and then when it drops you are losing completely you can split the money and then use the dollar cost averaging system by using the binance auto invest to start buying if i buy today at 41 there is every tendency that tomorrow i'll buy at 40. next tomorrow i'll buy at 42. next tomorrow i could buy at 30. so before you know it your hundred thousand dollars would have been splitted um into three six months and you would have invested and wherever what that simply means is that if the price of bitcoin gets down to 20 today and you bought at 20 you you are very sure that you're in profit if it gets to 50 wherever that level it gets to you are sure that at every stage you are making profit using that means i will equally leave the video to that in the video description so with a few points that i've given you it's actually very nice to actually invest in crypto and if you want to go into trading you want to know how to do some technical analysis how to actually read charts how to know when the price is going up when it is coming down when to you know enter the market how to set your stop loss how to take profit how to buy when to know you have to know when to buy and the rest we've put together a step-by-step -step guide for you so if you come in here to dataskillinstitute.com you we have put it, it together a step by step and the price you are currently seeing here is just for a limited time actually so if you add fast you can actually get access to this course so if i scroll down you are coming here to the curriculum you can see that we've put together a step by step guide how to analyze what technical analysis are you know how to analyze what no one market circles is study candlesticks how to you know spot support and resistance and the rest we've put all of this together for you to be able to start up your crypto journey to start learning how to trade crypto if your aim or your goal is to be making profit on a daily basis then there is need for you to go learn how to trade crypto and learning it will actually profit you a lot so we've put that together for you to actually start learning how to trade crypto but first to start with the first thing you need to start with as a beginner is to have an account with some of this exchange that i've equally listed in the video description have an account with some of these trusted exchange. Please go learn how to do this yourself and you will never regret it. Now, if you don't want to start analyzing charts to know when to buy, when to sell, when to go long, when to go short, how to set profit, you know, start giving yourself those headaches, then there is need for you. Remember I mentioned the passive means of earning from crypto space. Then there is need for you to go use bot. And some of the bots that we use are Prime Bot, we use Prime Bot, we use um royal q to optimize all of our crypto trading so i will equally leave links and videos about this in the video description where you can go and actually learn about some of this crypto trading so basically to learn more about this to learn more how to get started with all of this because i can't finish all of this in one video then there is need for you to join our telegram group where you can actually interact and ask questions Just join our daily zoom meetings and you are sure of getting a good result from um, add from that platform so the link to equally join the telegram group will be 
below this video as well so in the video description go ahead and join the telegram group and you are opportune to join um, then you will get links to join our daily zoom meetings and ask your questions there as well so cryptocurrency is a good thing this is not in any way financial advice these are some of the things that i do at personally my team and i this is what we do and we feel that you should equally learn and benefit from it so if you want to learn more join the telegram group and we'll see you on the other side on the zoom meetings you have uh you know the the you are granted to ask questions you know ask questions and then we'll walk you step by step on how to do majority of these things so to recap um basically if you want to go into the crypto space you look at it first you decide what you want to do do you want it as, on the long term means or the short term means so if it is short term you should be learning how to trade and trading comes in different ways you can do spot trading you can do features you can do p2p trading and if you want it to be automated then you are looking at ways of earning passive income if you want to be actively involved then you are looking at you know earning active income with the crypto trading and then if you are looking at long term you can buy and hold you can do both long and short you know the trading gives you whatever your daily bread and then the long term is that whenever you make profit from the trading you want to put it in a particular coin for instance you can come in here to buy um you can come to buy cardano yeah right now it's a dollar 36 cents you can buy solana now you can buy srp you can buy terra you can buy matic and a lot of these tokens that are still very low in the market you can buy any of these and you are sure that five years ten years from now you'll be making a lot of profit from it that is all i have for you in this video join the telegram group there you'll be opportune to ask a lot of questions and you know get to understand everything you need to know about starting your crypto journey so that is it in this presentation i'll see you guys in the next video